All right, so what is going on today, YouTube? We're re refilming this again because I literally deleted it at the 12 minute mark. I looked at it, I thought I was pressing stop, but I actually pressed delete. That was just, oh God, it hurt so much. But anyways, I want to talk about today is Flood is, it, to me, is going to be one of those revolutionary sets that comes out once every couple of years that change the way the game is being played because uh, mainly because of the spells and traps, but also because the Troy Mare cards are, you know, pretty much generic links that can go in any deck. Um, and they all have a different effect, which, you know, all can be beneficial. One's a double summon. Um, one is a, uh, you can discard and uh, pretty much destroy a special summon monster. Spell and Trap, you can target a card on the field, shuffle it back to the deck, and this one sets cards from your graveyard. And not only do they do that, they're cold link you could draw another card and then also if they're cold link special i mean not, this one doesn't need to be cold link but um special summon monsters on the field cannot activate their effects unless they're linked up um so if you put this in the middle a lot of your opponent might not be able to activate special summon monsters this one you you know like i said they all have that uh one they basically if they're cold link they all draw a card but then also this one you can draw equal to the number of troy mares that are uh, co-linked on the field so if you have three with different names you can draw three cards during your draw phase which is amazing this one they can't be destroyed by battle this one they can't be destroyed by card effects and then this one they can't be targeted so we're getting a set of generic link monsters that everybody can play which is already good that's already is making a set good because you got all these just generic things that everybody can play with which is always good in in Yu-Gi-Oh so that's you know one of the reasons but I think the main reasons is because of the spells and traps that they have in this set well really one trap but the spells in in, in, in the traps they have in this set are very uh basically game changing such as you know pot of the duality and solemn morning like when those came out, everybody started playing that way. Everybody put those cards in their deck. Um, and it was just, that was just how you played for now on. Um, Light of Seca, even though it, it does have a very, very, very big drawback, it's still a very good card. The fact that you could just plus one. And then if you don't like a monster in your hand, shuffle it back and draw another card. Um, the fact that you can still activate trap and spell and traps before this. Um, you just can't act activate him after so that means if you combine it with something like fairy tale snow You can just activate this call free willy-nilly after you done done everything after you done desires and got to where you need it Because a lot of these games are pretty much based off of monsters anyways So if you get enough monsters and you know, enough hand traps and stuff like that You probably don't even need spells and traps and a lot of people aren't really playing traps like that anymore I know a lot of people are playing spells, but not a lot of people are playing traps so i think that is that's the part that you don't really you know care about but the spells may be a drawback but i'm pretty sure when this card comes out you're going to just see a lot of you know 30 monsters 10 spells and traps type of decks because of how good this card is so mark my words favorite this video uh like this video whatever you need to do to have remember this <clears throat> to remember this saying that this card is probably going to change the way everybody builds their decks everybody may just say fuck it you know we're just not going to play any spells and traps we're going to just play light a second get those two cards off and play a whole you know a, 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 a you know a, a mess ton of hand traps so i can stop everything you do and still beat you because i just have so many monsters and stuff like that um also De grave designator everybody's been talking about this um, pretty much it's deserving because this card is so good not only do we get a hand trap stopper we just get a generic card that can stop a lot of decks that are depending off of one card or that share the name such as spirals such as harpy ladies since they all share the same name you banish a super agent they spirals really can't play they can only drop sleeper but to drop sleeper you would need you know double helix and stuff like that you can't do anything of that if what's the name goes master plan goes to grave bam activate this banish it they not only does it get banished but you can't activate the effect this card is good if you can find if you can hit a snow early in the game they can't use snow for the rest of the game not rest of the game but for the rest for two turns and also 
a snow god banished, so that's good. Mizuki, anything graveyard based, anything that activates in the graveyard. This card, I believe, is going to be at three in possibly every deck when it comes out, except for probably decks that are future in Light of Seca. And you might even still play it with this card because then you might incorporate cards that just banish spells and traps from the graveyard. And then uh, another card that I think that everybody's going to be playing three of is Sponsor Reborn because why would you not play a Reborn card with pretty much no no drawbacks you don't skip your battle phase you don't pay life points you don't can't special summon uh you can only spell like there's no drawbacks you just activate this card and then that's it only only thing that's really a drawback is banishing the other two monsters that you targeted but you're not going to use them so what is the like what is the problem and then if you're playing a deck that can you know recycle them from the banish or special summon from the banish then where, where's your real drawback there really isn't none. So I really feel like this card right here is going to be seeing a lot of play. Like I said, these cards right here, I can see easily staples at six apiece in the deck. And Light of Seca, like I said, I really feel like a lot of people are going to just, they're going to start going over to, if they see, if all it needs really is one, 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 uh, one, one deck, one person to take this in top four or get close to like, top four it can't be no top eight if the top fours with a lighter second deck that's like it's a regular deck but they just play three lot of seconds because if they draw it they draw it if they don't they don't guarantee you everybody's going to shift to that it's going to be like the chaos dragon effect as soon as they seen a top i think he got second as soon as he got second everybody switched over it they made it better they kept improving improving and then bam chaos dragons were the best deck i really feel like light second is going to go under that umbrella where you just see it once and it's top four or got second or something like that second third or fourth and that's it and then that's what's going to be the train to take off i feel like these cards are just going to be played regardless um if you're it, like any basically every deck should be playing this because if you go into a skull deep that's already three monsters so <laughs> like that's just dumb another i mean the card i was talking about the trap card i was talking about is red reboot which i really haven't looked at this card until like i went over here and read all these cards um yeah this card is very very good um you can activate it from your hand which you negate a trap card and your opponent cannot activate trap cards for the rest of the turn and that really matters what really doesn't matter is paying half your life points which you know at any point in time in Yu-Gi-Oh history everybody's always did it because it never matters as long as you have enough life points to win paying half your life points doesn't matter red red reboot negating a trap card and for the rest of the turn your opponent can't activate traps you're going to see more OTKs than you do see now because now your opponent can't stop you. Um, also in this set, I believe you get a hand trap. Yeah, we get a, one, a hand trap that negates. Uh, yeah, we get this hand trap that negates um, graveyard based, you know, stuff or adding a card from your graveyard to the hand from your uh, adding a card from the graveyard to the hand deck or extra deck special summon from the graveyard or banish a card from the graveyard. Yeah, we're getting another hand trap. And then also some other trap cards that I've seen and that I think, you know what, maybe they can do something in the right setting. They can actually do something, but not going to be the greatest uh, cards. Uh, the first one I want to talk about, I think it's Bean Scattering. Is that the first one? Uh, let me see. It is. Uh, no, it's Ruthless Drop Off. Ruthless Drop Off. Bean Scattering right there, but Ruthless Drop Off is a good, I really feel like it's a situational card that if a deck takes off that does this a lot, you will see this and it's just going to really change the way games happen. Or, you know, you can just incorporate a strategy where if your deck bounces cards to the hand, such as like Alter Geist, bam, flip this, look at your opponent's hand, banish every card that has the same name. And it just, it, it would just really get out of hand because not only you get to look at your opponent's hand you get to banish a card that they have on the I mean, that they basically you could pretty much banish the card that they added back so not only are they losing a card out of their hand they're also getting their hand looked at and <clears throat> that's cards like trap dust you got banned because of that there's cards like uh minecraft is still at three but like trap dust shoot uh confiscation cards like that that have to do with the hand they're they're banned and this can be one of those cards if it ever gets to that point in time where Somebody can consistently put something back to your hand or add a card from your graveyard to your hand or whatever the case may be just to activate this card, which I feel is really good. Um, also, Finite Infinity is a very decent card. I believe, uh, yeah, this is the Effect Veiler card. Yeah, this is the Effect Veiler card um, that, you know, you can target a monster and negate it. So 
<clears throat> you can activate it on your turn. You can activate it on your opponent's turn. Uh, as long as you control no cards, that's fine. Um, I feel like this card can see some type of play, but I feel like Effect Letter is still better in general. But, you know, this card can see some play. Um, also, Bean Scattering, which I feel like can be played in Dark Worlds, is because it says target a face-up monster your opponent controls that has a level. Discard a number of cards equal to its level, and then if you do, draw the same number of cards that you discarded. So, in a good, in a, in a perfect world, Dark Worlds can use this to their advantage. Discard, activate all their effects, draw that same number of cards, and you'll be all right. Um, and then, uh, what else? This card is eh, okay, but what is another one? I think there's another one I wanted to talk about. No, I think that was it, huh? Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that is all I wanted to talk about. Yeah, I think that's all I want to talk about. But as you can see, man, Flood does have a bunch of cards that are generic and everybody can play. Like I said, I can already see, you know, pretty much three staples, possibly four staples coming out, possibly five staples coming out of this set. And, you know, it, as in the hand trap, the spells, and the trap, those are five staples just already coming out out of one, you know, and of one set. And that's not even to mention, like, the element sabers, which I believe is going to be a tier one deck um, <clears throat> when it does, hit, you know, hit the format. And that skips its battle phase, which is crazy to think about. But people will skip their battle phase to activate, their effect, activate these effects. And I really feel like, you know, Flood is going to be, like, one of those sets that just completely defines the era of links as of right now but yeah that's just my thoughts you guys let me know what you guys think about flood and stuff like that and also yeah like i said uh, i didn't even say it this i didn't say it in this video but we haven't even got the ocg or the tcg exclusive so this set can get even better um we may get cards that work with this like it's crazy i knew it was going to happen i knew it was going to happen at the end of the video my phone's going to go off but yeah we could have got you know we could get cards that work with this we can get cards that you know work with this and stuff like that you never know but yeah those are my thoughts thank you guys for watching uh let me know what you guys thought to what do you guys think on this video or these cards and stuff like that and yeah that is it for today thank you guys for watching see you guys tomorrow <laughs>